Hello Internet, my name is Hazel from Hazel Nettie Games, and this is how I take out Aki the Chosen using two pets, which gets mega XP for a leveling pet during your daily. Here's what you'll need. Up first, we have the highly useful Anubisat Idol. These are usually fairly cheap on the auction house if you don't feel like farming one, and they're well worth having. Set his abilities to Crush, Stone Skin, and Deflection. Next, we've got a Gilnane Raven, but almost any pet with really good flying type DPS will do. I'm setting his abilities to Peck, Call Darkness, and Nocturnal Strike. The last pet's gonna be your leveler. I personally prefer to power level pets to 20 in Dragonblade before taking them to the Pandaria trainers, but you can squeeze a lower level pet in if you're lucky. Today, I'm bringing along a stitched pup because dead puppies need love too. All right, make sure you've got your Anubis Hath Idol in your top slot, your safari hat firmly on your head, and let's go. Let's do this, you're going down. All right, so she's gonna start with, with Chirp, which is a little grasshopper critter pet. Uh, make sure you put stone skin up immediately and then don't let it fall off for the rest of this battle essentially it's going to be extremely helpful it'll mitigate all of chirrup's damage so you won't take anything from him and you're going to regenerate back that little bit that you took using your humanoid ratio ability when you hit him with crush so this first pet all you're going to do is you're going to keep stone skin up and crush him to death that's it save your deflection for when the second pet comes out we'll get to that in a sec here all right so missing doesn't really help our situation here much but that's all right we got time this is not the most interesting of first pets but you know it's a daily quest we don't really expect all that much out of it Excellent. Make sure that when your stone skin gets down to one round, listen on the little screen there, you refresh it. I am stressing this because I forget all the time. I'm awful for this, but it really does help. Want to make sure you keep that going. And all right, so we're almost we're almost through with the cricket. He is hopping his way past us rather ineffectually. The newbie sat was just like, yeah, what up? Not doing much. Are you a bro? Huh? All right, so the trick. Tr Cricket does heal himself and his team a little bit. It's not that big of a deal. We can punch right through it, and the team was at full health anyways. So it's not like it's being especially irritating. Fantastic. So we are almost there. Excellent. Nope, not quite. It's a little faster depending on the RNG that you get, but you know there's really no controlling that. It's not a super big deal. There we go. All right. So the next pet is going to be Stormlash. He's a dragonkin. His first move is going to be Lightning Storm, which is a bunch of damage. So you're going to want to use Deflection right off the bat. We're going to deflect, he's going to lightning storm, and we are not going to get hit with any of the damage from that. After that, make sure you still got stone skin up, because I somehow, after all the talk about keeping it up, managed to let it fall off. Uh, the reason you want stone skin is because the lightning storm causes a little bit of extra splash damage, and your stone skin is going to mitigate that significantly. And um, your crush is also going to do a bunch of damage to this dragon, so he's not going to take very long, and you're going to heal yourself with your humanoid racial. So we are going to get through this relatively unscathed, no big deal. Excellent. You can use a mechanical pet as your second or first pet also. Um, I find that that isn't usually... It usually works fairly well because you're going to be doing a ton of mechanical damage. You can usually burst right through him. But this play is just a little bit more reliable, a little bit safer. I've never actually lost the battle with this. Alright, so Stormwash is down. He's just got the otter out now. Um, my new Beseth Idol isn't dead yet, but that's okay. We're going to switch out to our leveling pet to get our one hit in. It's not going to do a bunch of damage because this happens to be undead, but you know, we're not too worried. So, I'm going to go ahead. See Spike. Uh, he's gonna hit you with his dive, but that's fine. We're not gonna die. That's why I brought a level 20 pet. This one happens to be 22. No worries. It works at 20 just fine. So now we're gonna switch out to my Gilnane Raven. Pretty much any flying pet will do. All we need is just big flying DPS to take out the aquatic pet here. And I like using Call Darkness because it's gonna get rid of Lightning Storm. And it's gonna make sure our Nocturnal Strike hits like a truck. I love Nocturnal Strike. I love pretty much any move that can take out... A huge amount of damage all at once. Um, Call Darkness is also really great because it does damage on its own. It's quite a bit. It's reasonable. Exceptionally reasonable. And there is the Nocturnal Strike. That's it. That's all we needed. That did not take very long at all. That's just under three minutes. No big deal. We got a bunch of experience on our little leveling pet there. And let's go see what we got in our bag. Sack of pet supplies. What did we get? What did we get? What did we get? Goodies. Goodies. Sack of expired pet food. Thanks. Thanks a bunch. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. Please remember to subscribe for more pet battle videos every Tuesday, and I do other gaming stuff on my channel. Check out my Facebook and Twitter for fun stuff and updates, and have yourselves a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye!